Today, we have one of our newest sponsors, uh, the owner of Shay's Creations with us. I'm going to let her introduce herself in just a minute. We're going to talk about skincare. We're going to talk about skin toning. We're going to talk about acne, hyperpigmentation. Answer some of your skin questions. Now, here's the thing. We will not be able to get through everything today, but don't you guys worry because she will be back. Um, this is going to be a self-improvement Sunday thing that we keep that we keep going forward um, every Sunday. We got the credit guy coming next week. Um, and, and every Sunday we'll do our best to have somebody or discuss a new topic. So, um, hey, you can go right ahead and start and introduce yourself. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. My name is Aisha Jamila Kadabangura. I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creations. Um, I was born and raised in uh, West Africa and I've been in the US since I was 16, 17. And I manufacture organic skin correctional products. I'm gonna emphasize on the word organic and correction. And this is not a bleaching, these are not bleaching products, these are skin correctional products. And I manufacture them right here in the US. I am also um, um, a registered manufacturer. I got my own patent for this um, skincare line. And I really started because my kids, I'm a nurse by trade, and my kids um, had eczema my second one had sciaresis my third one had eczema and sciaresis so after a while i just wanted to get away from all the steroids and all those prescriptions that they were giving my kids that wasn't working but really just kept agitating the problems more and then i remember my mama used to make soaps when we were kids she used to make any kind of thing you could say something she making it so okay. i think that if she did that why don't i give it a try so I started going to classes, started finding chemists, started finding labs. And before you know it, one soap went from one soap to um, 120 products. So that's what I do. And uh, when I, when my niece told me about Storm and I looked up his channel, I'm like, oh, I can, I, they can benefit from my, my little, my little knowledge. I'm not a professional by any chance of this line. I just have passion about what I do. And I'm so passionate that I figured if I learn something, I owe it to the wall to spread that word out because 80 to 90 percent of don't even know how to take a shower oh <laughs> you know what and, and and when you say that a lot of people are going to be shocked like wait a minute they don't know how to take a shower so let's let's um let's start there really quick how are we supposed to take a proper shower all right so we're talking to people now that don't take a bath we're talking about people that actually stand in the shower and take a shower um we all know that we always say we got to detox our insides right Mm -hmm. You got to take a, a cleanse now, a detox thing to cleanse your insides. But we really don't take the time to say, let's exfoliate, let's cleanse our skin from the outside. So let's go with a basic shower, no exfoliation, just a basic shower. So now most of us go in the shower and we turn the water on. Once we turn the water on, we start with a soap in hand. And we may start with one of these scrubbers, a washcloth or whatever you use, device you use to um, cleanse your skin. And we keep the water running while we're using all these mediums. So I want to tell you that if you're doing that, you should take my test. You should take my challenge. So from today, I want you to stop doing that and just take this challenge for one bath. And if you don't change your mind on how to take a clean bath, then you don't do it anymore. So I want you now to go into the shower and think about hydration. You want to hydrate your skin. So you just want you and the water to really just... I tell people form a union, make love to the water. You and the water okay. just I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate why you do that, why you say that. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Cause you run now, right? You run now. Right? You run now. <laughs> yeah. So you wanna be able to just rub your skin with the water, let your skin get hydrated, and let the water get into your skin. And as you do that, if you want to, you could turn your water a little past your comfort zone. So let's say your heart is always here. Just go mm -hmm. teeny past your heart. So you feel your pores open up when you start really soaking your skin. Once okay. you feel like you're about to sweat, your pores are really, really wide open. I want you to shut the water off. You don't really don't need it at that time because you, you got enough water in your skin to start your process, right? Okay. So once you do that, I want you to get the soap. For some of you guys, he will tell you about this soap. <laughs> Later. Tell you about this later. Look, I've been using it for two days. They can tell me how does my skin look. Let me get closer to the camera here. Hold up. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it in just a minute so they can see a close up. So, so that, this that, is the soap. 
That's just two days. So what do y'all think so far after two days? I mean, I'll, it's two days, but I'm just saying. My skin is clean. I can tell you that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so now you are in the shower. I want you, after you've got your, your skin hydrated, you have your pores open up. I want you to turn the water off because you really don't need it. So I want you to take this out. And I want you to lather it all over your skin. Really build up a good lather. And when you've done that and you feel like, okay, I've got enough soap on my skin, I would like for you to get a scrubber. If you're a scrubber person, I'm a scrubber girl. Um, if you're a washcloth person, I want you to get that washcloth. If you are a loafer person, I want you to get your loafer. If you are one of them long scrubber people, whatever you use, device you use to scrub your skin, I want you to get at this point. And I want you to put a little bit of that soap so you just gotta get the scrubber, put a little bit of uh, the soap on the scrubber, and put them aside. You don't you don't need the soap after that. I want you to get the scrubber and really just scrub your skin in a circular motion. Okay. I like people. I like to use two gloves, so I got both hands to really do the job. So once you've done that and you feel like okay, I feel like I'm, I've done enough of the soap thing. I've scrubbed enough. Uh, I want you to turn the water on, but I want you to do me a quick favor and look down, and you're gonna see how much dirt comes out of you. So that's a, that's how you really should shower. If you shower like that, you're going to get rid of the dead layer of your skin cells. You're going to get your skin hydrated. You're going to get your skin and your pores to be cleaned at the same time. And you're actually going to see your skin looking healthier and glow looking over time if you continue that process of taking a shower. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to talk to you guys how to take a shower. Um, uh, she sent me my video is when I first got my box on how to take a shower. So I've been doing that the last couple <laughs> last couple days. But when I tell you that brown soap, it's called Victoria soap. Warm waters Victorian. Warm waters Victoria. I call it brown because it looks brown to me. It looks brown. <laughs> but um, it smells good. It smells natural. I'm somebody that suffers from like itchy skin, eczema. I have acne marks. Like it, you can't really see. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me get close so they can know. I feel like people are visual and they see better. So if you guys can't oh, yeah, see, I see it. I see it. And, um, even here too. And then if I showed you my back, my back looks like, um, look like I had the chicken pox or something. It's horrible. So I say all that to say, um, I have very sensitive skin, no itching in the last couple of days very clean just a very natural product so uh rakia said i get to lower my water bill and get beautiful skin that is true <laughs> that is true that is true <laughs> that is true <laughs> so tell us okay so we we know how to wash our body now we know how to clean our body let's start with let's say somebody who suffers from acne and then when the bump goes away they have a dark mark or maybe you were a picker. I know some people like they used to like heat. They used to heat up a needle. They'll take a little like clothespin, heat it up with the lighter and then poke it in the pimple. Like we got all kinds of home old school. <laughs> OK, now let's let me just emphasize on um, on something. Um, then we can go right into your question. OK, okay now I am from West Africa and my mama trained us to have two routines for skincare, two. Number one, a cleanser, which is a soap, a liquid soap, a bar soap, whatever soap you're gonna use to cleanse your skin, one. The second one is either a lotion or a cream. So we got two, when I say two, that's it. That's a two-step routine we had growing up. So I try to encourage people not to have just a two skincare routine. I encourage people to have several skincare routines. Um, you can start with a soap, which is a cleanser. now. It can be a liquid soap, a bath soap, um, any kind of soap, which I make a whole bunch of different kinds of soaps. You can add, um, some people like to add a toner to the routine. Some people like to add, after the toner, a serum. And then some people like to have a lotion or moisturizer or cream. So I want to encourage everybody to at least have a three-step. You want to at least have a cleanser. now. You want to at least have a serum. And you okay. want to at least have a moisturizer. So let's focus on those three. Now I'm going to go back to your um, your question. Um, I am an acne prone person, and I thought I was going to have a picture to show your audience. Maybe maybe I will. You mind if I just show them my picture before? Yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Okay, so I am an acne prone person, and all my life I was called polka dot face from middle school to high school. 
So this was what, oh, am I going the wrong way? This was what my things looked like when I just finished college, okay? And everybody and their mama talked about me. And I, I just came to a point where in the beginning, it brought my self-esteem down. I really didn't want to go anywhere. And then it came to a point where I'm like, I don't care about it. I'm just going to keep moving on with my life. This is my my face. There's nothing I can do about it. I didn't like makeup. So I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and just live my life the way it is. But right. then- after I started making the skincare products, I started saying to myself, why can't I make something for me? So now I'm going to address people with my skincare issue. Then and we can address others as we move on. I am an acne prone skin. I know that I break out easily. I know that my skin doesn't like a lot of sweets. And I know that I was a soda holic. So I knew for my skin to, oh, look at yours. I, I'm looking at your skin now. I'm glad I sent him a package. He's going to need that. So anyway, so I wanted to make sure that I changed certain habits that I have. Um, some of us are pickers. And I used to be, nobody picked like I did. Nobody okay. squeezed like I did. I had mirrors. I had two or three of them at the same time, okay? One to see and okay. one to, to make sure that I really got to wear the black heads, wear the white heads. Wear. So when I squeeze, I really get everything out of it and I will not quit until everything was out. Oh. So we need to change those kind of habits. If you yeah. want to get rid of black heads, get a professional to do it. I'm going to stress that again. There are um, professionals that that's their job. They pop us. They like to pop those stuff, but they do it in a clinical environment, in a cleansing environment. And if you want to do it yourself, use a glove or use a medium. Um, you can use one of these. These are uh, makeup pads. Oh, okay. You the makeup pads, remover pads, so that your hand, which you think you might have washed two minutes ago, can still infect that area, which makes it look black after you take the pimple out or yes, the yeah. out or the white it out. So you want to minimize your hands towards your skin as much as you can try to keep your hands away from your face because your hands i don't care if you just wash them they're not clean so they're gonna infect your face that's number one number two try to drink a lot of water to hydrate your skin number three look at him and while he doing that i'm having coffee and <laughs> so that's my first cup of coffee today and number two is um you want to also make sure that you are detoxing your skin from the outside. So you want to be able to detox your skin. You want to be able to exfoliate your skin. Exfoliation is the process of getting rid of dead skin cells on your top layer of your skin. And you're supposed to exfoliate minimal three times a week. Some of us do twice a week. But if you exfoliate, you will see how your skin just come to life. And people that are acne prone, um, you want to be able to use something that has sarcosic acid in it because it helps to really dry up the, the, the pimples. It helps to really just um, minimize the production of pimples. Some people are allergic to that. And some people that are allergic to that, you can use a sulfur-based cleaner or you can use an all-natural cleanser like the ones we make and other manufacturers that make all um, all natural, all organic um, cleansers. And you also want to be able to make sure that you cleanse your face minimal twice a day. Twice a day, right? Yes, minimal twice a day, one in the morning and one before you go to bed. And I tell people the reason why you want to cleanse before you go to bed is because your skin rejuvenates itself while you sleep. So you need a lot yeah. of rest. Yeah, your body heals itself while you're sleeping. Absolutely. Yeah, so you want to be yeah. able to do that. And you want to also be able to, while you before you go to sleep, cleanse your face. <clears throat> if you're going to use a toner, use it again. If you're going to use a serum, like an anti-aging serum, that's the best time to use those. Um, an anti-wrinkle serum, um, an EGF, an epidemic growth factor serum, that's the best time to use it. If I've been using use mine. I've been using mine because they, they say I'm they, they say I'm 36 and I'm not. So I definitely been using my anti-aging. Yeah, well, guess what? People think you got to be 36 to start. I know people that start at 17, 18. And by the time they in their forties, and and late, in another show, we're gonna let you guys guess my age. We're gonna do a show that you're gonna guess my age, not today. But most people that are in their late fifties, like I am, they don't know that you can start this process as young as twenty five, as young as twenty two, as young as eighteen. Skincare should be a life changing routine. It should not be I'm gonna do just do it till I get to what I, my results I want, then stop. No. I tell people that if you start a skincare regimen, you have to be dedicated to it. It's like going to the gym. If you don't right. go to the gym, you're not going to get that gym results, correct? So oh, very true. So you have to do this routine 
um, consistently. You got to make sure that you do this routine all the time. And you got to make sure that you are doing things that are good for your skin. And also, when you have, let's, we're going to go to the eczema product. I've seen the eczema question. So we, let's finish with the acne people. So you got to make sure you wash your face twice a day. You have to make sure you do some kind of an acne cream that is going to actually go and take care of suppressing the acne, taking care of the bacteria formation, making sure your pores are well healthy and taking yeah. care of. So these are all things you got to make sure you keep in mind when you're doing a treatment for your face. And consistency is the key. Consistent. Yeah. You can't you do it. You've got to be consistent. As a, as a lifetime routine, as a skincare regimen that you want to develop and stick with. Now, let's go to people with acne. Uh, with eczema. eczema so yeah my kids had eczema growing up and they still have eczema and we need to know right away that um a lot of the eczema sufferers in the world are black people yes they are a lot of eczema sufferers in the world are black people yeah and i'm gonna try to point out a few things why that happens we use we like the smell is good stuff we use um um a detergent that has good smell we like to spray our sheets when we go to bed. We, we like to just be around some nice smelling stuff. But sometimes that can irritate your skin. Mm -hmm. And that can lead to dry skin. So eczema is part of dry skin. So now yeah. I tell people that have eczema, you need to find a soap that is geared towards eczema prone skin. And people that have eczema on this panel or know somebody that has eczema on this panel, you need to go to YouTube because we're on YouTube already, right? When you're done, not now. And look up American Association of Dermatology. Yes. And the reason why I'm sending you there, because when I'm going to say, you're going to say that lady crazy. There is a bath that the American Association of Dermatology recommends to get rid of the dead layer of skin on your eczema. And yes, it is a bleach bath. Oh. Don't do it like that. You ain't got more that bleach, bleach in it. It's a one tablespoon. A one okay. teaspoon. Oh, okay. All right. I'm like, and, and you want to know why a beef bath? Are you, are you looking at this the way they all look when I tell them that? Now, Ooh. what does, and we're not talking about just any bleach, okay? So you got to go look it up. I'm not, I don't have time to go into details about it, but the American Association of Dermatology, if you go to their YouTube link and just put bleach bath, it has like 17, 18 videos that they have put out. So you know they're the specialists, right? I'm not. So they have put out a bleach bath um, regimen and recipe from age zero to age whatever of the measurements and how to do the bleach bath. And let me just emphasize a little bit on the, on the bleach bath. Why the bleach bath? The bleach bath, the bleach content has chlorine. And if you notice in the summer when you use the pool a lot, your eczema goes down. You're not Ooh. getting a lot of eczema. Your skin is a little better because of the chlorine kills the germs, the bacteria. Well, I don't know nothing about that because um, I, I, I can't swim, so. <laughs> but there's sections you don't need to learn how to swim. You can just sit there like I do. I pretend I know how to swim when my kids are swimming. I just sit in one place and look at them and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so the American Association of Dermatology puts out this bleach bath and I, my mama used to do it to us and I did not know it was, uh, I didn't know any better till a couple of years ago, I was doing research on eczema and I stumbled upon the website. I'm like, oh my God, my mama knew something that was actually medically proven. Wow. So the bleach bath is you just soak in it. And um, I think, don't quote me, go to the site and get the details. I think it's two tablespoons for adults. And you have to make sure the bath is over your skin so that you really soak. And when you soak the first time, make sure you soak at least 15 minutes. Because when you get up, you're not going to be how much skin you're going to leave in that tub. Oh, so hold on. You doing soaking? Oh, hold on. Le Leslie Ann said my mom used to do the bleach bath. I, I, I mean, you see, you didn't think I, you see that? And then um, we got a lady named Kiana said, um, said someone told me to use baking soda and water, water spray. I've never heard of that. That I've never heard of. But the bleach bath really works because I do that for my kids and I do that for myself every so often. It huh? really does work. Okay. It really does work. So now let, let's let's focus on the eczema. So we need to make sure that we change our sheets regularly. That's very, very important. And yes. um, women that have eczema around your bra area, 
you have to change your bra frequently. I mean, we women, we're in, a, we're in the thing, we take one, hang it, let it air dry, then wear it a couple of days later. If you have skin issues, you should not do that. Because the sweat that you had before from your from that um, bra that you hang up to air dry, when you mm. put it back on and start sweating, every bacteria and germ that was in that bra is going to come back with your second sweat. So you're just feeding yourself with a lot of uh, uncleansing situation. Not because you want to do it, but because you're so used to it. Oh. And and also, some people are, are used to using deodorant that has all kinds of smells. You, um, I don't like to, to throw out names, so I'm not going to throw out, but there's few companies that make actually non-scented, non-chemical, um, all organic um, deodorants that you should switch to if you know you're prone to um, skin irritations and skin um, 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 conditions. And also, while you're doing all that, you also have to be make, make sure that your your um, things that you use to wash your hands, your soaps, your um, detergents, your um, your body washes, your body sprays. You all yeah. that you gotta you gotta try to eliminate. What is causing this issue? So and, then, let, me, and let me let me hop in there too uh -huh. for the ladies for the ladies that um like to have um let's say um different suitors in their beds um. Definitely switch your sheets. Well, let me let me just ask you because you you know you are the skincare person. Are you supposed to change your sheets after you have intercourse or no? Well, that that begs to be different. I'm a Muslim, so I do. Okay. I'm a Muslim, so I do. But okay. even that, I don't do all the time. I do if I know that it has filtrated to my sheets. Gotcha. So I use a towel and then that towel is like a protective layer. And, but if it goes through the towel, I have to change my sheets because I won't be clean to pray. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then something they need to know. Hey, we need to know. Well, we need to know. Cause I, I mean, I get a lot of that question from my websites and um, I make a lot of also organic products for um, bed enhancement. So because people think I'm a Muslim, they don't think I'm, I'm not a human. I'm human. I'm a Muslim, yes, but I'm still human. I still got a husband that I love and I would like to enhance our bedroom life. So I do make a lot of bedroom um, enhancements, um, lubrications and stuff. That's on my website. So that'll be another day, okay? That'll be a different show. Different show for <laughs> a different day. Shower yeah. every day. But when I had him take a Roman bleach bath and just soak, he was like, oh my God, baby, I can't believe the dirt. I'm like, yeah, you're right. That is what, so the, the really people, when they hear the word bleach, they're thinking about the chemicals in the bleach, but really you're not using enough to even let that bleach penetrate to your skin. You just want to use a minimal amount so that you get the, um, the, the benefits of the um, exfoliation that the chem that the um, chlorine is going to do by cleansing your skin and get rid of that top layer of scale because eczema piles up and piles up and piles up. Yes, it does. My girl of eczema and is allergic to grass like me and bugs and have bumps all the time but cannot use anything with a fragrance. What will help? Okay, so I have an eczema package on my website. Um, I, don't, I think we forgot to put my link, but I have oh, it's, in there. it's in the chat. Yeah. So I have an eczema package and I put on, I put it on sale. What I did before I came on today was I have dropped prices on my website because I knew I was going to come on the show. So the eczema package is on sale instead of $99 it's on sale for $45, I think, or $49. So I dropped the eczema package. I've also dropped the, um, um, Sciaresis package, and I also dropped the um, hair bomb packages so that people that have hair bumps, men and women, um, do suffer from this. So it's not just a man yep. thing, hair bumps can be a woman thing. So I dropped the, and I sent you stuff for that too. I sent you the EGF. So yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah. will help you um, try to get rid of them hair bumps because I, also know, know, it gets really dark. I, I, noticed, I noticed it also has gotten like really dark right under here, I guess, because it's always shaved Maybe. there. And we can talk about um, another day. We can talk about shaving and what's the best ways to shave and how sh shaving as a black person is different than shaving as a white person. Yeah. Because of the way our hair grow. So we can talk about shaving and another, and another episodes because really we okay. most black people shave the wrong way. If you shave the right way, you will minimize the bumps that come in your face. Just from shaving the, the the right way, so that's another thing. With um, now I wanted to go and address. I've seen a lot of pigmentation questions come up. I'm trying not to follow on it, so um, I don't you know get distracted with your um comments because um, I I have ADHD, so I don't want to be all over the place. So I wanted to talk about is the bedroom enhancement package on sale? 
that person that's asking, but that Laurie, you need you need to DM me when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, I put all the they're not packages, those are just I put them on the skin protection under my website. So I think the other skin protection, but I did put them also on a sale. And we can have a, another show that we really talk about that because it's a really big um, problem in our environment of men and women that can enjoy the God-given um, beauty of intercourse. Because yeah. either the libidos are down or maybe, you know, you know, our minds are not there because we're not, we have so many things going on in our heads that you need something to enhance that bedroom life. So you know, we can talk about that another day. But I wanted to go and talk about the people that are talking about pigmentation and hyperpigmentation. I had the, those were the um, first questions that um, came up and scars. So yeah. now let's talk about people that I, I know. Yes, you, you people that have keloids, um, if you're in Maryland, you need to come visit me because I have a keloid machine that's really good at one of my sites. But if you away from Maryland and you use combination of soaps that are under the um, or, um, therapeutic benefit soaps, Oh, you call me. I like to consult with my clients. I really do. I like my customers to know me. N I don't want to be a manufacturer that you can't reach. I don't want to be a manufacturer that you can't reach. And I, and uh, as we are um, growing, I always make time to answer calls. And people, when I answer, they be like, "It's you." I'm like, "Yeah, why not?" Yeah, yeah, like really you. Yeah. Yeah, they always people always say, "Well, you don't sound like I'm like okay, let's don't keep talking." You see my voice come out, but I like to reach out to people. I want people to be able to reach out to me. You can send me um DMs from Facebook to Instagram to direct messages. I'm on WhatsApp. I really try to link with each person that reaches out to me. And when you get on my Facebook page and that robot start talking to you, just push stop on the bottom. When the robot stop, it sends me automatic message and I can see it. Okay? okay so now yeah. let's go back to the pigmentation hyperpigmentation dark spots um and all the keloid people you need to be able to develop a skincare regimen that is very very important scars are going to be there mm. we are not prone to scars because the skin that we have is a 10 layer deep it's the biggest organ we have and is the most protective organ we have so let me talk about that for a minute. When we go out in the grass and you walk close to a grass and they just spray that grass, where do you <clears> think <throat> that chemical is going to go? Right to your it's skin. It's going to go into your skin. Mm -hmm. You walk around when there are dog debris and poopoos and whatever, and you drive in. There's fumes coming from a car. Even when your car windows are up, where you think them fumes are going? In your skin. Right into your skin. Now, when you cook, when you clean, when you do things as a regular human being, you're going to get nicks. You see that? Yeah. So you're you're smart. Gonna nicks. You're going to get nicks. But what you want to do is if you're keeping your skin healthy and you're doing a good skincare regimen, those nicks will fade away with the regimen that you're doing over time. So because I love to cook and I have to cook because I got kids and I, got <laughs> to have, but I love to eat. So I got to cook. So. <laughs> I cook every day almost, you know, so, and my husband doesn't like to eat from the street. He likes to home cooking and my kids love to street food. So I got two to balance, but I love to cook. So when okay. you cook, you, they, you put more if you're frying fish, you got to come up. The oil's got to come up. It got to go somewhere. Correct. So when you're frying fish, when you're doing your regular daily chores, you're going to nick, you're going to like today, I got my nails all done for the show. Right. Look what just happened to me. My nail mm. broke. But So that's part of being human. Yes. That's part of being human. That's part of living. That's part of your daily routine. So when you get those scars, when you get the pigmentation, and how do you get pigmentation? Let's address that for a minute. There are hundreds of ways to get them, but I'm going to address just one. Um, we people of color don't believe that we need sunscreen. I beg to differ. I don't care what time of day it is, what time of year it is, if it's winter, spring, summer, um, whatever season, the sun. And cancer is the main cause of skin disease. Sun. Okay? I'm sweating like crazy. So my, my husband bought me a new light for today. And I think it's just a little too much because I'm not used to the lights. I don't have lights in my studio. But you know what? We just you guys go you forgive me when I babble. That's my personality. So anyway, when you have when you have your skin and you're going out in the sun and you end up with discoloration around here. And you got a leftover right here too. More about we women. 
Go got him checking himself out. Oh man, no, yeah, keep talking. I'm just looking at <laughs> so you have pigmentation around here, you're darker a little bit around here, and you notice that around here on your neck is a little darker. Then you notice that your knuckles are darker, your elbows are a little darker. But of course, mine is not. But, but I'm just saying, you, you the way look, he's checking himself out. So you notice all this is all discoloration, this is all pigmentation. Some occur from the lotions we use because we're not putting a barrier between our skin and the lotions that we use. We're not using a barrier for our skin and the makeup that we put on. We are not protecting the top layer of our skin with um, um, SPF 50 minimum. Don't go back, you know, 25. It's not going to, you know. And then we don't realize that sunscreen doesn't last all day. The How long does it last? Two to three hours, that's it. I don't care how good it is. Two to three hours. That's all sunscreen lasts. So you got to reapply. So um, I use, um, I make my own sunscreen and I use a water-based, I make a water-based sunscreen. Is yes on the website. Somebody just asked. I make a water-based sunscreen and I make sure it doesn't have a lot of oils because to balance everybody's skin. So because some people are oily skin, some people got dry skin. So, um, and I don't believe in spraying the sunscreen on you. I believe in rubbing it yeah, spraying on your hand rub it together to dissolve the ingredients to get them activated and then if you make rub makeup just pat it over you if you don't rub makeup then go at it and i believe that you should do your neckline and i believe that you should do your arms if you if you're going to be wearing clothing that's exposed for that day and if you're wearing open toes you should protect your feet because i got a lot of people that come to me that their hands are discolored and then also, I also want to mention to you guys that some of us that use the creams that we buy from the beauty supply store that say skin toning, skin brightening, skin glowing, we really don't get a chance to read those ingredients. And as we use them over time, our hands end up to be like that. You see how black and dark that person's hands are? Your knuckles get to be dark. And then they call me for me to fix that. Now, so let's... Let, let's let's address let's let's address a naysayer really quick. Uh huh. I'm gonna put them. Up. I'm gonna put them up there. This is Lisa here. It could be a troll, but they said, "Oh my gosh, a Jamaican talking about hyperpigmentation." I first off, you're not Jamaican. Okay, now, 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 let's, let's, I, I think she missed the beginning of the show. I am a biracial child. My father is from Lebanon. Went to Sierra Leone to do business. And Sierra Leone is in West Africa. If you guys want to that diamond, that's the country I'm talking about, okay? So Sierra Leone is in West Africa. And some of us don't know our geography. So I'm going to try to give you a landmark quick. So I'm from West Africa. So Africa looks like this on the map. I'm right here. So I came from West Africa, very close to the Atlantic Ocean. So that's where I was born and raised. And my father came from Lebanon here, came to Sierra Leone to do diamond business and met my husband, my, my, my um, mother. And that's how... Um, I became a biracial child. So my father's Lebanese and my mother's Sierra Leonean. So I'm not Jamaican by any chance, but I love Jamaican people because my sister loves Jamaican. And I believe once we black, we all Africans. I don't care where yeah. you come from. We all black yeah. and we all Africans. Okay. Check your roots. So now to the person that's talking about bleach. Now, um, a lot of foreigners and even Amer Americans now are using bleach to change their skin tone. If you go on my website, if you watch any of my lives, the first thing I preach is I do not believe in harsh chemicals. So bleaching is using harsh chemicals, namely hydroquinone, namely mercury, namely steroids to change your skin tone. Which they do prescribe you at a dermatologist. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. So when now, I'm going, yeah. But what these products that we are talking about, when we use the word bleach, we are referring to products you buy over the counter that are dangerous for you, that don't have no FDA regulations, that haven't been tested. And the whatever the label says, don't believe it. Because the label will say 2% hydroquinone. And they might have, if you test it, it might have 60%, 70% hydroquinone. Why? Oh. Because they know that the people that want to bleach their skin want an instant gratification. They want to change their skin color in two weeks. My products won't do that. So if you're looking for bleach, you got to step up, baby. I don't believe in that. That's not what I'm fostering. I'm fostering a healthier skincare routine to get your skin healthy, glow, radiant, and younger looking. So my sister, I'm from Jamaica. I'm sorry, but... That's what I do. <laughs> so, okay, so, 
So um, we're at like the 34 minute mark. So I, right now we, we went over some good stuff. If you don't mind, do you mind showing a couple of your products? And then I'm going to give them plenty of time for questions. Okay. So um, I need to stand up for a minute. So if I'm going to show you my products, I'm going to have to stand and get a package because I want to show you a package for more about for the people with pigmentation that has been talking about pigmentation. Okay. So yes, guys, yeah, I you know I I know a lot of you guys are gonna try to say, oh, is she is she bleaching? Is she bleaching? No, that is not what we are advertising. That is not what we are advocating at all. Um, this kind of actually reminds me, if you know who Charlemagne the God is, you know how like he had like the like the raccoon eyes and his his skin was all kind of crazy, and now he's one like one complexion, his actual complexion. A lot of things too that affect your skin are also like what you eat. If you eat a lot of bad stuff, um, if you're drinking a lot of bad stuff, using drugs, so it's it, it's a whole shebang. It's a whole. Okay. Shebang. So that said, what I've done is I have brought a little bit of variation of my products. So the soap that you, um, I always recommend people use is a detox soap, and because of price, hold on one second, I want to show the different detox soaps. And because of price, um, I'm going to show two different kinds of detox soaps. And I'm going to share a teeny bit of the, of the benefits of these both detox soaps. Okay, so we don't detox our skin. So when you start my regimen, I always preach for you to get a good cleansing and detox session mm -hmm. first before you start a product. So this is the Warm Waters Victorian. Homemade, handmade. This is one of the products that I don't make in a factory. When I get to a product I make in a factory set, I'll tell you. So this I make at home because I still want to be able to control some part of my business. So yeah. this is made in, right here in this room that we're sitting in. If you look behind me, there's tons of them already um, starting to brew in uh, another container. And this is another detox soap. Let me see if I can back it up a little bit with some paper. All right. Okay. So that oh, oh, white background will be better. There we go. Is that better? Mm -hmm. So this soap is $10. This soap is $20. And of course, we all know you pay for what you get, right? So oh, absolutely. two detox soaps. But both of them works very, very effectively on your skin to cleanse it, to detox it, to hydrate your skin and to start any kind of detox process. So when you buy my products, I don't sell you one soap if you buy a package. Your package will come with three or four soaps. OK, the reason why I do that is when you buy a package with three to four soaps, each soap has a different ingredients in it, different nutritional value in it that we're going to try to do because your skin sheds and replenishes itself every four to ten days. So every four to ten days, I want you to rotate a soap. So you're going to get this up for the 10 days. Well, let's start if you bought this soap. So this will be your first soap to start with for the 10 days. Then if you got this detox soap, that'll be your four to 10 days. And then you're going to switch to any of the other soaps you bought from me. And every soap has its ingredients in the back, the benefits in the back of the box. And on the website, you'll see that also, okay? So you're going to rotate the soaps. And you're going to come back and rotate that soap every four to 10 days. So that's your cleansing process, okay? Now that yep. we've cleansed, are you good? That's just for the chat to read. Chat room. Okay. So um, let's say, for instance, you have actually um, cleansed your skin and now that your skin is dry, don't over dry your skin. You need to leave a little moisture on your skin from your shower. Okay. I'm not saying leave your skin wet, little moisture. So That's once cool. you've dried your skin and you left a little moisture, the next thing you should do, if you don't use a toner, I thought I had a toner out. If you don't use a skin toner, if you use a skin toner, that should be your second step. If you don't use a skin toner, you want to be able to use a serum. Okay. okay? So this these are acne serums, uh, epidemic growth factor serums, skin repair serums. So you want to be able to use a serum next. And I tell people, don't use a serum like it's going out of style. It is very concentrated. And all you need is one to two drops. That's it. Yeah, and it goes really far. And just yeah, rubbing really your face and your neck. And if it's extra left, rubbing your hands, because you want your hands to always look good and young looking so that's your second stage for the serum your third stage will be a moisturizer so i have tons of lotions on my sides tons of moisturizers some of them have toning benefits 
and some of them don't have toning benefits. Some of them, all they do is just nourish and moisturize your skin. So there's tons of them on the site. You can go and look. They all yeah. moisturize. So that will be your three steps if you want to start a three-step regimen. Now, if you want to start a four-step regimen, we can talk about that. You can incorporate a toner. You can incorporate, um, I like to have um, hold on, a primer because when I use makeup, I want to be able to protect my skin from okay. the so that's so when you go on the site, you if you go on the skin correction, you're gonna see all these little um packages that has been set up. And it's really I do it very economical for you to buy the package than for you to buy individual products. You end up losing money if you buy individual products. So I always recommend a package. And I think I should give you a code for your for your audience if they want to buy something today. I think I should. So um, I don't know where to type. Can somebody type the code for me, please? Yeah, um, what's the code? I got you. 20 And that's going to allow you 40% of any of my packages today. That's a good deal. So in other words, you're going to send get my packages for $200. You're going to get them for like $140, 145 something like around there. And if you pay, and I've also adjusted my sites just for today. If you guys buy today, you don't pay no shipping if you're in the U.S. So I'll pay your shipping. I'll pick up your shipping for today. So I figured that would be a nice way to, for me to introduce my products to you guys yeah. and for you guys to get to try the products. So um, that's, I think I think that's where we're going to take a pause on that for today because I want to leave the room for questions. So we did okay. cover a lot, though. And then we introduced you, which, you know, I wanted them to meet the lady that was behind all this, too. <laughs> when, he, when you told me you want to do a show, I'm like, what? <laughs> because they keep asking, like, you know, I've been using your stuff for two days. But, like, even with me changing my eating habits and, like, cutting out beef, pork and chicken and all that, they're just like, oh, uh, Storm, you're glowing. You're glowing. And I'm like, let's talk about it. So, um Okay, let's answer their questions here. We, we've we already addressed this, Mimi. You said, uh, do you have anything that helps with eczema? We've already addressed that. Yes, there is. There's a pack, eczema package that I put together and I actually dropped the price for you guys for today. Do you have a, a lightweight moisturizer? Yes, I do. They, they are called emulsions. Emulsions. Lightweight moisturizers are called emulsions. And they also there's a, a lotion on the moisturizing page called Moisture Max. Actually, to be honest, all my I try to make lightweight stuff because they absorb and, and your skin better and they're just healthier for you. So I don't like the thick, heavy stuff. So everything I make is actually very, very lightweight. And uh, right. let me just show you. So this is one of my lotions. And I'm just going to spray it. It's new, so it might take a couple of pops for it to come out. It's very lightweight. And if I let it go, see how it's moving? That's how lightweight they are. Gotcha. So I don't like to make moisturizers. And I want to show you something. Okay. How fast it dissolves in your skin and how it just automatically gives you a glow. Yeah, it's soaking in good. Yeah. Hey, so Jay Marie, she's in, she's in Maryland. Jay Marie, she's in Maryland. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, yes, I'm in Maryland. And I am also um, a women business center, economic development, women entrepreneur of 2019. So I have been given a site to display my products downtown Rockville Town Center. So I do, I'm there two days a week just so people can reach me. And I'm also have my other location in um, Hyattsville, Maryland, where you can go online and make appointments to come visit me if you're in the um, DMV area. DMV means uh, um, Delaware, District, Maryland, and Virginia. Columbia, um, Maryland and Virginia area. You can make an appointment and come see me. The consultations are free if you want to come to me. You want to call me on the phone. I don't charge you for consultations. I really believe that the more you know about your skin, the better you are. So I don't do I don't charge for that. I need help lightening pigmentation along my jawline and dark spots on my cheeks. Yeah. Yes. Pigmentation package right on the website for you. And oh, let me tell you guys something before I forget. Uh -huh. I have a 90 day money back guarantee. I want to make sure I tell you that. Tell them about. You can use my products for 90 days. You don't see it affecting your skin. I want you to take a picture the day you start using my products. And 90 days from there, send me a picture. If there's not a difference, I'll pay every penny you've paid to me back. Okay. I've only had that done once in my entire four years I've been doing this. So I come with a money back guarantee. Uh, all What's the soaps, the not free. Yes. None of my soaps, none of my soaps have nuts in it. None. None of them have nuts in it. Um, hold on. I saw a question I wanted wanted you to answer here. Okay, what kind of ingredients do you have in your skin toner? 
what kind of ingredients okay good what is one of the best questions somebody has asked today now a little, a little education have you ever seen a brand new baby till age six months and how they just glow yes okay why is that because god that created us put glutathione so if you guys want to google the word i'm going to bring something that has glutathione in it so you can get can google it so glutathione is a natural skincare ingredients i think it's the first ingredient on this thing let me check focus right there glutathione. Yep. so most it, actually all my product got glutathione in it so glutathione is the master of antioxidant when god created us he gave us in abundance that's why you can leave a child under the sun you come back that child might get red my next day, their skin came back like nothing happened. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Yes, yeah. because at that point, God has given them so much in abundance that their skin is in perfect condition. Now, as we age, glutathione will make you young, healthier looking, radiant. So as you age, you stop producing. Gotcha. So my goal is to replenish glutathione back into your system on a topical level and if you're in the dmv area i also do iv therapies where I can you can get that done intravenously at one of my centers so glutathione is the antioxidants that master of antioxidant we all need so that's my number one ingredient um my skin toners have also kojic acid on the natural and the lowest level I want to make sure I stress that. So don't buy it and think hey, you're going to get like the ones you get on eBay or places that you're going to just get rid of that pigmentation one low in one um, um, wash. The reason why I put in a low dose, I want to see your skin to help welcome the ingredients. One, two, I don't want harsh products on your skin that is going to damage the layers of your skin. Yeah. So I use low concentrations of all my ingredients so that you are actually really just bringing it gradually into your skincare routine and your skin is going to be able to take just what it needs from it so that you're not getting excessively yeah, um, all that. So we have glutathione. Let me make sure I don't forget some of the ingredients. So we have glutathione. We have alpha um, abutane. If you guys know alpha abutane, it's the most of the health, healthiest plants for your skin. These are all plant-based, okay? We have um, kojic acid. We have vitamin C, vitamin E, aloe vera essence, um, shea butter. Some of the other products we'll have, let me make sure I get, that's from one container. And every um, product I make, if you go on my page, the ingredients label is right there for you to see. So the ingredients are right there. You can see them. Okay. And of course, as you can see, every way to get contact me is right there. And of course, the person that's asking for dark circles, you must be in my thoughts today. <laughs> Vitamin C, I, Jill. And I also make another product for dark circles. You can find all these on my website. Okay, so for, these are for the dark circles, baggy eyes. I was just making those today for somebody that's picking them up to resell in their in their spa. So when yeah. I make I make big bo bottles for them, so they can repackage and put their own name on them and sell them in their spas. So just for for tired eyes. Um, and I always tell people when you are using a eye um, products for your eyes, try to do at least two. I don't see without my glasses, so if I you know, don't, I'm not gonna be able to read. Okay. So I want you to be able to do one pin drop don't if you do more than that you've done plenty so one pin drop and you do that tap it and then you want to go with your eyes lead up and then out don't come in come out and then you do the same on the bottom and circle that's enough for one application trust me when i tell you so you want to do that at least twice a day these are for people with tired eyes baggy eyes dark circles um crow feet you know the the when your skin um crumbs um wrinkles up on the side it's called crow feet yep yep, yep. and I all right let's see let's see what else we got here um okay somebody did ask did you um are you on amazon you're on amazon we got the link oh, oh i am an amazon certified I, I have to explain the difference i'm an amazon yep. certified topical for black people to be on that list it ain't easy so I'm an Amazon um, certified topical skincare um, manufacturer on web on Amazon. Okay, so that means they came and checked all the ingredients, all the stuff, and you know you really go through a lot of scrutiny to get it. It took me two years to get it because I kept failing. 
but I'm an Amazon topical um, skincare um, manufacturer mm -hmm. on Amazon. And I'm also on walmart.com. I just got a walmart.com. They invited me to apply. So I don't know how it works, but I know you go to walmart.com mm -hmm. and then you put Shaz Creation, um, S-H-A apostrophe S, Creation, so the S at the end, and my products will come up on Walmart. I just got okay. a Walmart, not even a couple of months now. Let so, me try to let me try to uh, find that. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to find myself on Walmart, but I just know that if you go on the search bar on Walmart.com and put Shaz Creation, my products will pop up. And on the Amazon, um, I am going to see by the next time we go on, I'll try to see if I can put a, a, a discount up for you guys for Amazon because I was thinking I don't want that because I actually actually found it. I'm gonna try to share it here. Give me. You one. found it. Yeah, because yep. I have, I haven't been looking. I've been so busy. I haven't had time to really go follow the um, the uh, Walmart. But I I am I'm people that that know Walmart. There you go. There you go. So you can find my products at Walmart. That's it. All you gotta do is put shares and look. It came right up. Ooh, I'm right there. Lord, I thank you for little miracles. I so thank you. Oh, that, that yeah. Right and this warm water's Victorian soap. I that's your soap. <laughs> that's the soaps. And the lily of the valley is for girls that really just like for their skin to glow. So there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of beautiful. Um, I, I think all together we make about 27, 28 soaps, um, just for skincare. And I want to just um emphasize a little bit on the difference because people always go and buy the therapeutic soaps and they're looking for the skin correction or soap. Now right. a skin therapeutic soap is something you introduce to your skin just to stay away from the chemical products. I don't want to call names, but the manufacturing, the ones we find on the stores for $99, $0.99, $2, $3. You want to stay away from that, so you want to come to a natural, organic, premium ingredients. Our, our, our therapeutic soaps are made out of the best ingredients money can buy and from um, certified um, distributors that sell the, the ingredients to us. So we buy at the high level so we can, we can make good quality products. So that's what the therapeutic benefit soaps are. Now, I encourage people that have kids that are always outside, outdoors, gym, running around, for you to switch them for two weeks and they just see the difference on their skin. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. So that's what skin therapeutic soaps do. Skin correctional soaps are different. That's why they're a little higher in price. They go to correct an issue that your skin has. Dark spots, discoloration, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, brightening your skin, glowing your skin. So they are higher grade soaps. And they are more money. I think they're nineteen ninety nine or something like that. So they okay. higher um, um, concentration of money and products. So now I, let's break down a package so you know that you're getting a deal when you buy a package. Okay. So let's say you're gonna get three soaps in your package. Each soap is twenty dollars. That's thirty dollars, right? Um, that's sixty dollars. Right. You're gonna get two serums. They're eighty dollars a pop. Eight and eighty sixteen. Your package is already paid for if you get a discount. And you're gonna get a uh, five hundred milliliter cream or moisturizer that's 100 to 200 dollars for the moisturizer and i'm not talking these are not small containers this will last you six to eight weeks it's a huge container oh yeah that's plenty yeah that's that's plenty you get a i i try not to make small lotions they are small lotions on the site for 30 dollars for people that just want to try them or maybe never heard about my products they're small containers but when you buy little little i think you first of all you want to maintain a regimen so if you buy this you buy that you buy i don't know how it's going to come together but can you purchase bundle packages on walmart.com instead of separate? Yes, there's, there's bundle packages there on Walmart. Yes. Do you, have, do you have anything for peeling skin too? And, and that's where we'll end it for today. You have anything? Oh, for peeling skin? Oh, oh, yes, baby. I have micro, that those I really try not to put on the website because as soon as they go on the website, they run out the media on the sites. So you can't <laughs> call me to buy those. So um, I have micro peeling soaps. I have micro peeling oils. And I also have orange um peeling um oils and i have yellow peeling oils all these are fruits and vegetable base and they will peel you three applications three times a day three applications in the morning three applications in, in the afternoon three applications a night for three days and you stop and let the product work and then you're going to start seeing the peeling okay but i also encourage you if you're going to peel that you really need sunscreen Definitely. you do you do because you're going to counteract what you're trying to do uh -huh, uh -huh. So I want to thank you for coming with us today. This is the owner, the creator of Shay's Creations. All of her information is in the chat and in the description box, <clears throat> including her Amazon link. She is Amazon certified. And as we just showed you guys, her products are sold at walmart.com. So 
Um, let's see before we go. Okay, I'm not trying to flex. I was literally just showing you guys. <laughs> Showing you guys that uh, uh, acne and eczema marks that I have, but they're, they're getting better. We're going anyway. to make sure we take care of those. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank you for coming with me. How do we pronounce your name, just so we know? Aisha Jamila Kara Bangura. Okay. So let me say like how I sound, how I sound off on my show. And I don't sound off without this, so let me sound off my way. Can I? Go ahead. Go ahead. My name is Aisha Jamila Karabangu. I'm the Shabi and Shah's creation. May God watch out for you and yours. May God provide for you and yours. Whatever your issues are, may we know that we are created by a higher power and a higher being, that nothing is possible without intervention. May God watch over our children. May God watch over us when we cannot be there to watch over ourselves. May you know that nothing is possible without his intervention. And whatever you have, whatever it is you have, he is working his miracles that you have to be patient to receive. And no that nothing is possible without his intervention and whatever you do you gotta be grateful please allah let us have gratitude in our lives let us have appreciation for the little finer things we don't even seem to appreciate the air that we breathe the health that we carry every day there are people laying in places that are not healthy may god touch their souls may god give us all peace of mind may god foster us to love one another and to know that we came here and we rely on each other and we are each other's keepers from the depth of my soul i thank you all for watching and I thank you for the privilege of having me on your show. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. All right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was our first self-improvement Sunday. You guys know I kept going back and forth if I wanted to call this self-care, self-improvement. But anyway, <laughs> um, she's a really nice lady. Like I said, I've been using that brown soap and it got my skin looking and smelling like really really super duper uber good all of her information is in the description box now next sunday we are supposed to have a credit guy come on teach us about credit how to improvement the mistakes we're making and all that other jazz you know i'm gonna be asking him because i need some help myself so see you guys later like comment subscribe and share if you care for more reviews roles prescriptions and the like and i will catch you guys later